Mercedes Martinez is one of the most well-respected athletes. I don't care your gender. I don't care where you're trained. I don't care what style you are. Everybody looks up to Mercedes Martinez as an inspiration, a trendsetter, a trailblazer. Mercedes Martinez was evolving women's wrestling before any major promotion ever thought to use it as a marketing campaign. She's testing herself against one of the absolute best. One of the best anywhere. A current title holder, though this is a non-title affair. Not to mention the current NWA World Women's Champion. She's held that title for the past six months, and she's only really been actively competing in the NWA for about a year or so. So that doesn't demonstrate the sheer dominance of this imposing presence of Camille Brickhouse. I'm not sure what will. These are two very physical athletes who have never been comfortable backing down from a fight. And you can almost feel that tension all the way up here. My name is Joe Dombrowski bringing you this, what is sure to be a memorable clash at Battleground Championship Wrestling. Non-title match, NWA World Women's Champion Camille and Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes has roots in this building. Competing at CZW, PWU, WEW. A 21-year pro, so as she was starting, was right around the end of ECW. Mercedes just missed it. But man, I think you ask anybody that's followed Mercedes' career, she would have fit in perfectly in that particular environment as far as just being tough and holding her own. Think of, think of Jazz and what she did in ECW. Or think of the ability of a Francine to withstand punishment. I think Mercedes um, would give either a run for her money in those departments. But Camille's kind of the puzzle that not many people have been able to figure out, and uh, she's defended against the likes of Melina and uh, of Layla Hirsch and Chelsea Green, and she's done a hell of a job. No one accidentally is reigning champion for six months in this day and age with the how rapidly things change in the pro wrestling landscape these days. Let me drop toe hold as Mercedes gets on top of Camille in the early moments since she's getting a rear naked choke. Notice the drop step to swing the hip into the headlock takeover. Mercedes gets under her taller opponent to leverage her down. And Camille uses those long legs and those thigh muscles to trap the head of Mercedes to counter. Good back and forth exchange so far as Mercedes is able to find some daylight in that head scissors and so much for technical wrestling, I'm gonna punch you in the jaw. You gotta wonder what a victory here for Mercedes would mean. Would the NWA representatives be watching? Could that mean a future title opportunity for Martinez, although she's recently been associated more with Impact Wrestling? Of course, formerly in NXT, 
I noticed Mercedes just swinging her body back and forth, looking to build up momentum to swing around to the rear of Camille. Has that arm still hammer-locked, I believe. And was uh, Sitch again with almost a, a variation of one-arm dragon sleeper. Camille to her feet and the snap mare. Camille has such power. She's such a hard striker. But, I mean, most anything I could say about Camille is also true with Mercedes. And with the exception of experience of Mercedes, juxtaposed with Camille's, vice versa, the same is true. I like the gut wrench suplex by Camille. But you think about how hard they hit, how, how, you know, they're survivors, they're versatile, they're adaptable, they're aggressive. That's both these athletes. Uppercut connects. Martinez is dazed and stunned, I think, more than hurt. Just by how, how way down these blows are coming from. They're just jarring her. And you could feel that deep thud as uh, Camille connects with Mercedes' uh, chest cavity and sternum. Camille getting everything she can out of each and every strike. Now a series of kicks. Relentless nature of Camille. And Mercedes, a sitting duck, man. Just the, the impact of that buckle dazes her. And by the time she realizes where she is, here comes Camille full force. You can tell why Camille's where she is in this business. And well, it may not be because she gets elbowed by Mercedes, though. Swing on the rights, the palm strikes. This is why Mercedes is where she is. She's a fighter. She's a survivor. Oh. oh. Mercedes tried to quicken the pace. I think she may have been a hair slower because of what's take, been taken out of her. Camille was waiting, but Mercedes can be stubborn too. Both these athletes are. They want to win it their way, and Martinez uses that to find an opening. And Camille down with a leg lariat. All kinds of power caught Mercedes high. I thought for a second Mercedes may have hit the back of her head off that canvas. And uh, would have been history from there, you gotta believe. Over the shoulder, Mercedes into the corner. I'll check out this power slip. Mercedes counters. All half and half. Camille dropped high on her back. And that's uh, when you got a woman as adept at suplexes like Mercedes, Camille's height can sometimes work as a disadvantage because Mercedes can get kind of underneath that weight and pop the hips a little easier than maybe if, if Camille was, let's say, 5'5". Five five. Oh. Got the knee, she's knocked out, no. Oh. I'm telling you, if Mercedes wins this matchup, and I'm not gonna say Mercedes winning this matchup's an upset. I I, 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 I'm not gonna shortchange Martinez at all. But if, if Mercedes does win, it's a headline everywhere. People are talking. And uh, this is a bit of a regal stretch by Mercedes Martinez. Probably spent some time picking the brain of the man himself about how to perfect that particular maneuver. Camille is, is itching. He's looking for the nearest rope. She found it. Referee asking for a break. Referee receives the break. But notice the smart veteran instincts of Mercedes rolls or to be drags Camille right back into the center of the ring where Mercedes can do she has about all she wants without much repercussion. Ask her. 
Talking about Mercedes roots in this building, also trained by Jason Knight, uh, a.k.a. the world's sexiest man, Jason. I'm not going to break out in hives like Joey Styles used to, but uh, it shows that, that so many roads uh, diverge together. And, and that's part of Mercedes' story, but check this out. Megan Camille carry all of the body weight of Mercedes, and Mercedes pulls and stretches forward on the head and neck. Trying to sit to the guillotine choke and Camille reverses the momentum and sends Mercedes high above. Wow. And Camille, we saw her attempt that power slam earlier. Will the second time be the charm? Oh, she drilled Mercedes Martinez. Deep hook of the leg, but it's not enough. Wow. And you know, on a regular day, that's enough to put away whoever Camille is in the ring with. Camille is uh, now wrenching the neck, that vice-type hold. And again, you think about the, the height, the power, and just the force that comes behind everything Camille does, case in point, those those body blows, those elbows. Man, Mercedes, it's like Mercedes' whole body is being contorted. A series of elbows and a handful of hair by Camille. Camille's measuring Martinez, doesn't see a pump kick countered. And Martinez may have been going for the temple or the shoulder, I'm not sure, but that back suplex connected. Martinez, double underhook. She's stringing together some offense. She's got the women's world champion reeling. A long blower connects. And Camille back with the clothesline. And you've got that kind of power working behind you. Sometimes the simplest of things will be major game changers. Referee instituting a uh, obligatory count. Count reaches seven. Camille gets her wits about her first, but maybe Mercedes was playing possum. Mercedes gonna bait it around and got a near fall. Man, how close can you get now inside cradle? Not enough. You feel like both athletes are just gonna go for it from here. Backslide coming up. Backslide, oh, couldn't balance the weight. But Mercedes undaunted. Fisherman suplex breaks the grip of the hand, so it's all impact on the top of the back of the head. And Camille, it was definitely a kick out, but maybe the longest two we've seen tonight. Mercedes Martinez could be a moment to usher in the next chapter of her career. No, Camille got the pump kick. Oh, I think Mercedes was out of it before she hit the ground. That look on her face was worrisome. The Finley roll. I think that just drove the air out of Mercedes. Mercedes is in a bad way right now. She may have gotten her bell rung and she got the wind knocked out of her immediately afterwards. This, oh, Camille's measuring. No! Mercedes, there's the air raid crash! A specialty of Mercedes Martinez. Could she become a top NWA title contender here? Camille gets her hand on the rope. Wow. Imagine how Mercedes' life changes. 
Billy Corgan, the NWA, the women's rankings, an entire new territory to conquer. But less than one second determined that fate, at least for now. Well, Camille may have a goat for a chance. High risk, oh boy. Oh boy, Camille is high above. I think Mercedes was going for the OG drop. But Camille, it's the breathtaking spear. And Mercedes has been down by the NWA World Women's Champion. I think the story was not just the spear, but what happened before the spear, the devastating bicycle kick, the air rushing out of the body of Mercedes, and if you're already having a problem catching your breath, the last thing you're gonna need is to damn near get your boots speared off of you. That's what uh, Camille did to Mercedes Martinez. And yeah, Camille, it wasn't on the line but she is very much still the NWA World's Women's Champion and very much adds another notch to her belt, defeating one of the most well-respected female athletes anywhere in the world today in Mercedes Martinez, who's been anywhere and everywhere. But Camille is the hot button issue. All the challengers are trying to figure out and all the promoters are rushing to book.